G'day and welcome to this edition of the Colac Herald Sports Smash. Please forgive my voice, a little bit croaky this morning. My name is Lachlan Cowlishaw, Ben Martin over there. Let's get stuck into it. Plenty of sport to get through today. We're going to start off, it's bowls finals time. Ben, what happened in the bowls preliminary final? That is right, like exciting times in the Krangamite Bowls division. City will take on Colac in the Krangamite Bowls grand final in a fortnight following City's preliminary final win against Winchelsea. Winchelsea, as we know, had that meteoric rise during the season. They finished ninth last season, one spot off being relegated into Division 2. So they've just uh, really had a big season this year, but unfortunately finished third after that loss. City won the match two rinks to Winchelsea's one, and the team's tied in the fourth. Winchelsea skipper Jason Armstrong was one of the recruits of the season. He had a win, uh, but big wins to City skippers Jack O'Dowd and Peter Ingalls helped their team over the line, and City won the match 121 shots to 68. So pretty, a pretty comprehensive win there in the end, and maybe sends a bit of a message to, um, to Cole like that City is a team that really wants to win a premiership. So they take on Colac on March 16. There is no matches this weekend for the long, Labor Day long weekend. And Colac, as I said before, earned their spot in the grand final after beating City in last week's semi-finals. So it should be an interesting matchup for sure. Look, bad luck to Winchelsea there, but you know, they've had a very, very good season. Division one cricket now. This was the final round of games before final start next week. Uh, and that's set in stone now. We're gonna have Colac, Irrawarra, Stonyford and Elby contesting finals and just two weeks of finals. They do play this weekend over the long weekend. Uh, Colac versus Colac West is our first game. Colac made 8 for 178. Aidan Spence 48 and Phil Ball came back to form with 43. Dale Menzies 3 for 30. Rob Thresher 3 for 27. Colac West skittled in the second innings. They only made 73. James Linton 24. He's had a pretty consistent season. Aidan Spence came back, he, he took 4 for 15, James Rowan 3 for 24 and Jason Tram 2 for 28. So Colac had a big win there before finals. Warrion versus Elvey. Warrion posted 143 in its first innings at Warrion Recreation Reserve. You think that might be enough, but they got Elvey all out for 139. Mick Lay made 82 for Warrion, really saved them there. Tim McKay was the best of bowlers with 4 for 21. While Luke McLennan, he made 61. That's a timely 61 before finals for the, for the captain of Elvey there. And Jerry Jared Stinchkin, captain of Warrion, 6 for 56, if you don't mind. Mick Lay, 2 for 33 to complete an all-round game. In the final game, Irrawarra had a big win against City United. City United posted 140, playing a lot of young players, uh, and Irrawarra finished on 6 for 328, if you don't mind. Josh Weatherhead, 29. Luke Ingalls, 28 for City in their innings. Mick Embry, 4 for 41. Jeff Percy, 3 for 21. And Jeff Cole, 2 for 24 with the best of the Irrawarra bowlers. In Irrawarra's batting innings, Mick Embry, 94 runs. Ian Scoble, 91. A pair of 90s. Leighton Hart, 56. And Jack Cole, 34. Lee Garner took 2 for 13, bowling down the order for City United. So that finishes City's season, but Irrawarra will play in finals next weekend. Ben. Straight into the Polwet District Tennis Association news now. We're kicking off finals this week, so uh, there's a couple of big results. Kawarren will contest its first, first sorry, Polwet District Grand Final in three years Oof. after beating Pennyroll in the qualifying final. They won the match six sets to two. They didn't play the ninth because the game was all over. 41 to 28 games there. Kawarren's and Neville Towers just in uh, firing form there, winning all three of his sets. Uh, and in the other match, the elimination final, Pennyroyal will return next weekend to take on Warncourt following its elimination final against Forest. With their backs against the wall, it's a pretty exciting one. Warncourt uh, won the final four sets, including all the mixed sets, uh, to claim the match of five sets to four, 45 to 37. So as I said before, Pennyroyal will return next week to take on Warncourt in this weekend's preliminary final for a chance to take on Kawarren. Thank you, Ben. And finally, Colac Lawn Tennis Club. They had singles championship preliminary matches on Saturday and some of the finals that we will see on Friday night at the Lawn Tennis Club's Church Street Courts in Colac. Uh, in the boys, the under-18s, Luke Garner's going to take on Luke Ingalls. Uh, in the girls, under-18, Beth O'Brien is going to take on Sarah Mulgrew. And then Beth, Beth O'Brien is going to defend her women's championship as well against C Cassandra Smith. Hopefully win that match there. 
Uh, and in the men's final, Lewis O'Brien, Beth's brother, uh, he's going to take on Jason Manane. And Lewis is also the defending champion down at the Lawn Tennis Club. Uh, and that wraps up the sports section of the Sports Smash. Now for our favourite part of the show, the Colac Herald Sports Person of the Week. And we actually decided to head towards tennis and give it to young Beth O'Brien, Ben. She's made the, the women's final. And the under-18 final. That's right. It's not the first year she's done it. She did it last year. She won the under-18s and the seniors last year, I think, against uh, the same opponents, actually. So they, the opponents must be getting quite sick of coming up against Beth because, obviously, she's a very talented opponent. Um, but, obviously, a very young player there. And to, I mean, to, to make the, the senior final two years in a row, she's done a very good job. So we couldn't go past Beth. Well done. Outstanding stuff there, Beth. Uh, plenty of sports in your Wednesday edition of the Colac Herald. Lower grade cricket finals have started, of course. So... Make sure you buy a copy there and have a read about that. But from Ben and I for this week, that's it. See you later. See ya.